Hey guys, welcome back to Custom DIY. As you can see, we've got a problem. Let me uh, get all of our parts gathered up and I'll show you guys how to take care of this. Step one is going to be go ahead and shut your power off at your breaker. Step two, come on out and you're going to take all the bolts off of your fan all the way around. So I've got all of those taken off already. Sorry, I didn't do it on video. Once that's done, let me see if I can set you in a good spot here. Once that's done, you want to disconnect your fan controls, which you'll find them right over here. This is your capacitor. You're gonna find um, typically a two, um, two wires here on the capacitor, disconnect those and a ground back here. Again, the power shut off, so I'm not scared to stick my fingers in here. And a ground back here. Disconnect all of those, and I'll show you those as we reinstall. Once that's all done, go ahead and lift your fan out. And then you're going to pull your wires all the way through. You'll have a little tube here, conduit that has it on there. Then we're going to flip this thing over. And we'll take the fan blade off real quick. So I'm just using vice grips. You can use, looks like it's 10 millimeter pliers would work just fine too, but this is what I have. So fan blade off. And then you want to separate your motor from the shroud. And there's typically four bolts on the back. Um, and mine happen to be quarter inch. Didn't want to do that. Okay. So there's our shroud and our bad motor. What our motor was doing is it just wasn't spinning when the thermostat called for this thing to turn on it's just buzzing and getting super super hot so i'm pretty sure it's just locked up or not locked up but worn out so i've got a new um, universal type motor we're going to install since we have this open we're going to go ahead and get it all cleaned out too so we're going to get the vacuum and clean everything out of here and then we're going to spray down these coils and get them cleaned up and might as well do our service while we got this thing taken apart and shut off Hopefully you can see it's not terribly dirty in here, but we're going to go ahead and get it cleaned up and then we'll start getting this thing uh, prepped. Okay, next step is we're going to clean. So we're using this web coil cleaner. It's really good stuff. Everyone I've seen recommends it. So we have two cans. So we're gonna do two sides with one can and the other two sides with one can. can and we'll do the other one on the outside I'm not gonna record it be right back all right once that's set in for a few minutes you can go ahead and wash it off we're gonna start on the inside and work our way out Let you guys see what's happening here a little dirt not too bad
All right, I'm just gonna keep rinsing until there are no more foamy suds. It's gonna take a few minutes, so I'll be back. While that's drying and dripping out, I'll go over the new motor with you and compare it to the old one. So this here is the old motor. It's uh, 850 RPM, 200 volt. I don't remember the amps. Um, blah, blah, blah. I don't remember the amps. Anyways, so this was the original OEM train three wire unit. Again, it spins free, but will not, it actually physically won't turn. So there's something wrong up in the top of the unit. This is the new um, quote unquote universal unit. It is a Packard unit. Again, uh, 1 8 horsepower, 825 RPM, reversible, 1 amp, 60 hertz. Um, so this one wires a little differently, obviously. You can see there's a bunch of wires. So ground is ground, so that's black. Black is black. Sorry, let me untwist these. So ground is ground, that one's simple. White is purple okay and then these two browns are the other brown so these are going to go to a new capacitor this went to the original capacitor here is the new capacitor for just these wires so these will go to this boom boom and then i just got to get that mounted up un underneath there the purple will go to the original and then we have a ground right here. Yellow with green is a ground, obviously, because it's grounded to the bottom here. So if we look at the new unit, get down to it here. There's the wiring diagram. It shows you right there. So your brown and brown and white go to the new capacitor. Your black and white are your line in. And then your yellow purple, which are these two, these control the direction of the fan. So if it's spinning counterclockwise, you need it to be clockwise. You just pop these babies apart and then hook them back up and it'll reverse the polarity on the fan. So right now it's set up to go clockwise, I believe. Um, so that should be it. All I've got to do now is fish these wires back through our tube and start hooking them up. So let's head over to the AC unit and we'll get these things through there. All right, so we're gonna start with uh, getting this. All the wiring ran through the tube here. And then we can worry about the rest. Hopefully I can get it to feed. There's one. I think it's gonna get pretty crowded pretty fast. There's that one. And then I'm probably gonna need a wire. We're not gonna use the ground. All right, so struggling a little to get the wires through here. So I went ahead and just pulled uh, everything apart. That way I can do this the easy way. So now we're gonna to try to feed these in here through a straight tube and it should work much easier, hopefully. Okay, there's that one. We got one more to go. going to be a tight fit. Come on, baby. We did it. 
Haha, <laughs> victory. Put back on. Okay, so there's all that. Put our colors back up. So there's that part. Again, we're not using the ground. All right, now time to hook everything up. So our white goes right here. I'm gonna put it on this other side. So that is our white. That's where our purple used to be. Our black goes right back here. That is where our black was. And then our browns go to this new capacitor. And we'll get these wires tied up out of our way here in just a minute. So the browns go to this new capacitor. And then I need to figure out a mount for this real quick. I think I'll probably just stick it over. Well, I might put it over here by the other one. We'll try to put it like right down here. I just got to find something to mount it. And then we should be good to go. So we'll clean that up in just a minute. Let's go ahead and get the fan back installed. So our biggest trick with the fan is going to be getting the cover mounted back up to it since this is a universal fan sorry I'm moving all over the dang place so let me grab the cover and we'll figure out how to get it mounted up all right so this thing will go on something like this I hope oh yay perfect okay so that bolts right up, no problem. So let me grab my hardware and we'll bolt that in. Oh. Okay, the next thing is the fan blade. This obviously only installs one way. Now your universal motors are probably gonna have a longer shaft on them like I have here. Okay, so I got the fan where I want it here, right on the groove. And we're gonna get it just a couple inches up so that it doesn't come in contact with anything, which it doesn't look like it would anyway. But just to be safe, we're gonna just move it up just a touch. And then snug down this set screw. It was very tight, so I'm gonna get it really tight. 
if the extra length here bothers you, you can cut it off. It shouldn't unbalance anything. So I'm going to leave it. And then we're ready for install. So I'll want to make sure I zip tie my purple and yellow kind of over here out of the way and then pull the rest of my wiring tight. So let me pull the rest of this wires tight into this harness. Cause I want it tight like that. Hopefully you can see what I did there. Try to get it real tight up to the body like that. And then these I will zip tie right down here. And that should work really well. So I'm gonna put a couple bolts in this just to make sure it spins the correct way. And if it does, then we'll clean everything up and be done. All right, we got everything hooked up and powered up. Let's uh, turn the air on and see if this thing works or catches on fire. Hey! Okay, so it's working obviously, but blowing the wrong direction. So we'll get it reversed so that it's pumping air out our way and then this thing's gonna be done. Okay, so that all worked great. The exception of we are going the wrong direction. So let's lay over again like we did last time. Our fan's a little out of balance, but that's alright. So we're gonna reverse this and we're gonna zip tie this dude down and facing down obviously I'm gonna give the balancing one more check just to make sure it's super tight. Oh yeah. Okay, that's good and tight. And I dropped a bolt down in here. So let me find it. Where did you go? Where did you go? Must be under Z motor. Okay, we'll find another one. That's totally fine. All right, happy days. Spin this guy back in. Get them all lined up. all of our connectors. Okay, we got that. And now we'll put our power box back on. I got all the wires cleaned up. That's all good. My uh, new piece is just gonna sit over here for right now because I need to get a bracket to mount it. That's gonna slide up in there.
Okay, awesome. Let's test it out again. All right, the daughter is turning it on, so give it just a second so you come on. Oh yeah, there we go. Lots of air. This is our cover. It goes on top. Try not to jack my fingers off here. And there we go, guys. Pulling a ton of air. All right, guys. Well, that is it on how to change out a condenser fan motor on your home AC and also clean your condenser coils. Hopefully you liked it. Make sure you leave us some comments down below. Don't forget us to leave us a thumbs up. And as always, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. We'll see you guys next time. Later.